Hello, welcome to the Kylo tutorial video series. I am Jagrut Sharma and this tutorial will show how to configure and run a scoop based injection in Kylo. We will cover this topic in four parts. Part 1 which is this video will cover template registration. Part 2 will cover a feed for doing a full table injection. Part 3 will cover a feed for doing incremental table injection on the basis of a last modified time column. And part 4 will cover a feed for doing incremental table ingestion on the basis of a monotonically increasing numeric column. So let's get started. To provide some background, Scoop is a tool that is designed to transfer data between Hadoop and relational data sources like MySQL, Oracle and Teradata. Kylo provides the ability to use Scoop to do data ingestion from such a relational source. For this demo, we will use the starter template that comes out of the box with Kylo. We will start by registering the template and then creating the three feeds out of it. I have the starter template on my machine and we will start by importing it. Here I am in the Kylo UI and I will go to feed manager, templates, plus sign, import from a file, choose the file from my machine and import it. After a few seconds you can see that the file was successfully imported. Now I wish to register this template in Kylo. So we go to templates plus sign import from NiFi, select the template and continue. The next steps in the registration process allow us to choose which properties of the flow we want to expose to the feed creators. So we will skip the load high watermark processor because we do not want the end users to configure this. In the next set of properties, there are a lot of processors here displayed on the right side and the one that we want to configure is the import data scoop processor. Now we can choose certain to expose certain properties and this is totally a decision that can be made by the template designer. I'm going to select some properties that will be useful for quite a lot of feeds. So cluster UI job name, the source check column name, the source fields. The source fields, uh, this should not be changed. This can be left as is. The source load strategy, the source split by field, the source table, the source table where clause, Scoop connection service. One thing to note here is the Scoop connection service should be rendered as a select type. Target column type mapping. Target compression algorithm. We choose to render it as a select type and provide the options that are supported by the underlying processor. None. Gzip snappy and bzip2. Extract data format. Again we select, we choose a select type rendering and provide the options that are supported by the processor. Text, abro, sequence file, parquet. Target HDFS directory. target HDFS directory strategy if it exists. Choose to render this as a select type and provide the options that are supported by the processor. And let's review to make sure that 
we have all of them as we wanted so this will filter the properties that have been chosen to be exposed to the end user now let's continue to the next step we will provide a name for this template Kylo template scoop import and allow the customization of the destination table we can choose an icon for this and as you can see it recognized it as a source processor and register we got a confirmation that the template has been registered successfully and if we go to templates we can see that that template is now available and has zero feeds out of it so this concludes part one of the series to recap we covered registering the starter template check out part two for creating and running a feed of this template to do the full table ingestion